it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Prigwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city.
Being in the open like this is tactically irresponsible. Got it. Searching through it could prove Let's beneficial. Play, you, you Godless Paladin dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, 
only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute, and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the Signal Interceptor without the Brotherhood, Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her 
to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. We taught those raiders a lesson. We'll teach them again if they come back. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Is it that something? Yes? Hey. Sturgis, remember that holotape with all the Institute data? I need it back. Oh, yeah? Why? What have you got cooking? I'm working on something, with the Brotherhood of Steel. They want to look at the data I got from the Institute. Hmm. The Brotherhood, huh? I sure hope you know what you're doing. Here you go. I've already made myself a copy. Two in the head and they'll stay dead. Advice to live by. Carry food with you or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. Proctor, I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. Wait. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's going to take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. Excuse me.
When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there... dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. 
She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile. And every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Hmm. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Attention, this is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. Soldier? That is all. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. 
I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. There's Brotherhood, then there's everything else. Nothing in between. Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Dr. Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building his electromagnetic actuators. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Victorian, sister. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, 
His offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. It's all right, brother. I'm a child of Atom, too. I'm part of a church up north, the Nucleus, near a town called Far Harbor. Far Harbor? You've seen Atom's holy veil, but you have traveled so far. I apologize. I will not keep you from finishing your pilgrimage. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Now that this site's been secured, you should return to the airport immediately. I'll remain on watch until the vertebrates arrive. Good idea. Wouldn't want these things falling into the wrong hands. Exactly. I'll meet you aboard the Pridwin, as soon as these bombs are counted, tested, and loaded. Outstanding work, Knight. Nobody's crying but me. 